know some people may prefer using other stuff for this but we'll just I recommend you follow it my way until it's done and then you feel free to modify whatever you like okay so we've got that there so what we're gonna do is just gonna copy this here and put it down here whatever it doesn't matter so we'll open it here okay and that seems fine there for me uh, I'm happy with that so we go here and um, and let's just start coding this now. This is a fair amount of code. Oh my god! But this is probably the most amount of code we have to write. So just be ready for it, guys. So first thing we want to declare is a rectangle RC window. Okay. And then we want to say get window rectangle. And what this does is it finds um, because we have the app window, we have the handle for the window. We say um, get the windows rectangle. Okay. So um, what this is going to allow us to do, so let me just write this down, I believe that's right. So what this is going to allow us to do is to uh, find exactly where the window is positioned on our screen. So in relation to, is it a little bit to the left of the center, is it above, whatever. We need to find this out so we can take our screenshot of exactly just the application and just the game because we want to make sure we get the most speed out of this. Okay, so that's why we take a screenshot of just the game and not the whole screen. All right, because that makes it a little bit faster. So we're going to declare a bitmap here, and we can find out all kinds of things from this rectangle. We've got to find out the width of that window. We can find out the height, so it will be really useful. And then hitch bitmap, bitmap, bitmap. Oh my god, my spelling's terrible. And that's hitch bitmap. Um, and then we do another hitch bitmap. God, uh, we just cleared that again. And then we call this old. Um, so HB map, HB map old. Uh, that's fine. Uh, so we've got those uh, two there, and then we just say bit map info. And all these things are things necessary to take screenshots of, you know, our, our screen here, obviously. So uh, HDC, HDC shot, and HDC, HDC screen. And then we create our pointer uh, of pixels. So RGB quad. Okay, quad, that should be good. And then P pixels. And what this is going to be used for, like I said to you earlier, is to store a whole massive array, um, which will hold a lot of pixels. I can probably tell you around 1 point something million. That's what I calculated. Well, it depends on the game, obviously, it depends on a lot of things game size mostly I guess but so let's say RGB quad and then we say uh, int time taken screen and scan and what we use this for later on is well we might not use it but I recommend you keep it so you know exactly how long it takes to do a whole a whole scan so we'll do an infinite loop here well true oh crap and this loop is gonna host all our good stuff so if get sync now I'm going to tell you about a choice you've got here you can do whatever you like here but what I'm telling what I did on mine is uh, it's not the most practical way but it, it works for me all right so I'm not really too bothered about this but what I did here is I, I got it in a way where if I press X which is a nice key for me to press if I press X it disables the um, the aimbot temporarily so as I just showed you in my tutorial I just need to press X and it stops snapping Towards people, you see. If you like, you can do something like if get a sync key. Uh, let's say sh you can say shift. So only whenever you hold shift, it aims at people. So if you want to have it on at all times and then just turn it off temporarily, you do the exclamation point there. Um, and then we say, um, where's that crap? I really got to stop declaring five-hour-long variables. Clock. So what this does is it sets oh this is something I forgot to do here so include C time and what this allows us to do is do some counting uh, which is quite useful so C time remember that and there you go it knows what clock is um, now what we do is we say if time uh, sorry if take screenshot okay and then we're going to throw a bunch of variables in there now remember this hasn't this has been declared at the top but not actually put into code so game window bm comma h bitmap bmi uh, h h bitmap bitmap old 
it. Oh come on. Why did I declare this? H bitmap old. I probably bitmap. H bitmap old. Old. I'm gonna check that out in a second. And then app window. So uh, obviously I either didn't declare something H bitmap old, H B map old. Oh H B map, my bad. Oh get lost, what the hell are you talking about? Oh HDC shot, I best I forgot that. HDC shot. And uh, yeah, I believe I'm happy with that. Um, that's fine. Uh, if <coughs> so what we're saying here is we're saying if you can't take the screenshot or if there's something goes wrong, we break out of this loop, okay? I've got to put a little thing here, so that's fine. If I point now. Okay, so we do that. Hopefully, you can still hear me nicely. So, what this is going to do, this function is going to create a whole screenshot, which is going to be beautiful stuff. So, we do that. It's going to get some more space here. Um, so, hbitmap, there's a bit of typing to do. I should start hiring people to do my typing for me. hbitmap, hbmap new equals create compatible bitmap. Okay. And this will contain HDC shot RC window dot right minus RC window dot left. And what this finds out for us is our width of the window. Okay, RC window. So we're saying create a bitmap out of that window. Okay, bitmap. If you don't know what it is, I'm sure you do. Is an image type. So I see you know. Uh, bottom minus window dot top and this finds out our height did I say the last one was this one was with sorry and this is height so this finds out those things and that's that okay and the next thing you do is say HTC do not worry if this doesn't make any sense to you because the first time I wrote this kind of code it didn't make any sense to me just think of it as code that um, allows us to take a screenshot um, you only have to worry with the part where we store that screenshot into an array, which will be very soon. So, HCC uh, shot new uh, equals create compatible DC. Okay. Shot. So, it does that off this shot that we just thrown into there. So, then we say H bitmap um, old bitmap. Oops, just there equals. Bitmap uh, select object. So we need to select our object here. HDC shot new. So we just created that and we want to select that as our main because what this has done, this has said record our screen, alright? Just get grab our screen is what we're saying. And then we're going to say H bitmap new. Okay. So hopefully that was alright. And now bit BLT now. Um, Bit BLT is a tricky one. Bit BLT is a function that is very fast. HDC shot. Noob, I'm just going to put everything in and I'll try and explain it to you because I don't want to make any mistakes because they they'll cost me later on looking for problems. So H00 RC window right dot left. So we put our window width in and then we put um, and then we put our uh, window height yeah right next to it. So zero zero window height. Um, yep, uh, and we do HDC shot, and then comma zero, comma zero, and then finally comma S R C C O P Y. So we're saying copy here. Okay, so that should be alright. Um, just gonna get some space on that in case you guys haven't read that fully. And then what we do is we're gonna create our pixel array to store everything. That we just recorded, okay. Uh, so p pixels equals new, oops, new RGB quad, okay, quad, and then uh, that will be bm dot bm. So we're saying create an array, okay, and we're saying create that array the size of our bitmap, and that's why this is usually around a million size and it needs a lot of memory from your computer it's not that many that much I mean height 
so if you if you times the width so if you do 800 times uh, 600 you see that it's quite a lot just do the maths quick we'll do it quickly ourselves so we're badass like that so let's say we're working with a window that's 800 by 600 pixels see you get 480,000 pixels you see so you're making an array 800 uh, 480 uh, in size elements which is a lot if pixels pixels oops pixels turn false so we're saying if um, the pixels um, not yeah the pixels variable is null just return false because this usually means something went wrong with creating our uh, RGB code that might be one of these is negative or something stupid on that but I've never had that problem it's just to make sure uh, I believe I took this bit of code off Microsoft uh, MDSN or whatever and then we say select object HDC shot new okay that's what we're gonna use for that so we select our new object old BMP so old bitmap and then we say if get the uh, bit so I promise you this part will end rather soon guys I know this is getting a bit of work get di bits I'm happy with that and then we say HDC shot new um H bitmap new uh, zero there bm dot bm height and then we're gonna send in the pixels uh, p pixels what the hell have I done? What are you freaking on about? Pixels. I'll get lost. Have I turned insert on? The P pixels, and then we send in and BMI. We send in the address to the BMI variable, and we just say DIB underscore RGB colors. Colors. So if not, so that means if this fails here, what does this return? It returns in an integer. So yeah, so if it fails, we release, release, uh, DC. This is, this is something that's very important. If you miss steps like this out, you'll likely to have a memory leak and then you'll see, um, you'll see a program tick about a gig of RAM, which is crazy. Uh, I've seen that happen a couple of times, and when you're dealing with something like this, it takes up a gig of RAM in a, probably about 12 seconds, and it will then crash your program, obviously. So we delete our pixel array, that's essential also, and return false, okay? So that means if something fails, that usually, it will be rare, you know, but we need to look out for it anyway. Sorry, my juice, my, well, my chocolate milk's running out. And either way, we release that. I guess we could just delete this line, delete that line if you like, I'm not going to do that. Um, because, like I said, I don't want to do anything different from the. Um, so, we want to create our scan contents uh, variable. Uh, so, scan contents, contents main. And what we use for scan contents is just so we can easily throw a variable into our C window into a function um, so we don't have to pass more than one variable and this will make sense to you right at the end because uh, there's only one way of doing something and this is it well at least that I know anyway and then we'll call scan BMP okay and all we throw in is this variable right here and condense me um, come on what's wrong with that oops that's what we need to do pass the address to that we don't want to send a copy of it and now uh, one final part that is incredibly important you cannot miss this so if p pixels make sure you point exactly what I write here there you go um, if p pixels are free so what we're doing is we're freeing our memory so we can um, because we're doing this on every loop and if we don't free our memory we're gonna have a problem so uh, if if there's something there we free free that memory okay so select object object these are all things that um, some of them might not be necessary but I'm, I'm pretty sure most of them are DC shots um, and then hedge bitmap old oh come on how did I spell this for God's sakes oh for God's sake where is hedge bitmap old for God's sakes it's hedge bitmap 
old HP. 